Hello, my topic is pronouns. The definition of pronouns is words used instead of nouns are called pronouns. There are some types of pronouns: um, personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, relative pronouns, indefinite pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, and reflexive pronouns, interrogative pronouns, intensive pronouns, and reciprocal pronouns. The first type is personal pronouns. The definition of personal pronouns is it's standing for people, places, things, and ideas. There are two forms of personal pronouns. The first form is subjective form. This pronouns replace uh, replace subjects. For example, I, he, she, and so on. There are sentences.、Uh, they went to、uh, the store. They is a、um, personal pronoun, a sub a subjective form, <coughs> and another form is objective form. This pronoun replace objects. For example, me, you, him, and so on. David gave the gift to her. Her is an、um, objective form of personal pronoun. And please, um, please be careful. Only use who when it's the subject of the verb. Else use whom? Who is like he and whom is like him? For example, he give it to him. Who give it to who? Possessive pronouns. The definition of possessive pronouns. This pronouns replace possessive nouns and show ownership. Also, they are used to indicate who or what owns something. Like all pronouns, possessive pronouns take the place of nouns in sentences. Example: My use, ours, theirs, his, hers, its. His hair is longer than hers. Hers is, uh, hers is possessive pronoun. Relative pronouns. Definition of relative pronouns is a re- relative pronoun relates to another noun preceding it in the sentence. These pronouns are used to connect a clause or phrase to a noun or pronoun. Example: Who, whom, which, whoever, whomever, whichever. And that example, the driver who ran the stop sign was careless. Who is relative pronoun? Indefinite pronouns. Definition of indefinite pronoun refers to unknown or undetermined person, place, or thing. These pronouns don't point to any particular nouns, but refers to things or peoples in general. Example: feel everyone and some anything and nobody. Example: Everything is funny as long as it's happening to somebody else. Everything and somebody、uh, are indefinite pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. The definition of demonstrative pronouns are used to replace specific people or things that have been previously mentioned or are understood from context. Example: This, those, this, that, and such. Example. Of sentences, such was his understanding. Such is demonstrative pronoun. Those are totally awesome. Those is demonstrative pronoun. Reflexive pronouns. The definition of reflexive pronouns are used when a person or thing is referring to a same person or thing. Example: himself, herself, etc. I don't like. Working in groups, I prefer to work by myself. Myself is reflexive pronoun. Intensive pronouns. The definition is: these pronouns are used to emphasize a noun or pronoun. Example: myself, yourself, and so on. And there is a example sentence: I myself like a little stroll after dinner. Myself is to emphasize I. Identification of intensive reflexive pronouns. The way to identify a intensive pronoun is to remove it from the sentence. If it's a intensive pronoun, the sentence will still make sense. It the if the sentence no longer makes sense, it's a reflexive pronoun. Did you self make the cake? The sentence would still make sense if we removed yourself. Did you make the cake? Interrogative pronouns. Definition of interrogative pronouns are used to 
ask a question. Example: Who, which, what, etc. Who is going on the trip in、uh, to India? Who is interrogative pronoun? The definition of reciprocal pronouns: They are used when two or more people or things are doing the same thing and experiencing the same consequence. Example: Each other and one another. At Christmas, people give gifts to one another. One another is reciprocal pronoun. Sometimes people are making several mistakes on、um, pronouns, and there are three main rules in pronouns. The first one is agree in number. If the pronoun takes the place of singular noun, you have to use singular pronoun. For example, if a student parks a car on campus, they have to buy a parking ticket. A student is singular noun, but they is plural pronoun. So we need, so we need to use singular pronoun to replace a student. Thus, he or she are good choice to replace a student. So the the correct、uh, sentence should be: If a student parks a car on campus, he or she have has to buy a parking ticket. The second one is agree in person. If you are writing in the first person, I, don't confuse your reader by switching to the second person you or third person she. Uh, he, she, they, it, etc. Similarly, if you are using the second person, don't switch to first or third. For example, when a person comes to class, you should have your homework ready. It's incorrect, and it should be、um, right as like when a person comes to class, he or she should have his or her homework ready. The third rule, the third rule is refer clearly to a specific noun. Don't be vague or ambiguous. For example, although the motorcycle hit the tree, it was not damaged. Is it the motorcycle or the tree? Another example is: I don't think they should show violence on TV. Who are they? Um, here are some examples of、um, pronounce errors. Everyone has their own lockers. Everyone is a singular definite pronoun, so the correction should be everyone has his or her own locker. The dogs tugged on each leash. Dogs is a plural subject, and it is a singular pronoun. So. The correct sentence should be the dogs tugged on their leashes. Here are more examples. Lauren and her went to the principal's office. It's wrong because we should use subjective form here. She is correct pers、um, personal noun, so the correct sentence should be Lauren and she went to the principal's office. I told Matt and he they sh- should get along better. It's wrong because he is a sub、uh, subjective form, and we need to use objective form here. So the correct sentence should be I told Matt and him they should get along better. Here are some pronoun exercises. In the sentences below, decide. Decide whether the pronoun underlined is a subject, object, or possessive pronoun. Also, identify the pronoun's antecedent, the word it replaces. First one, I couldn't find my coffee mug this morning. I bet Henry took it. Henry needs to get his own coffee mug. He is always taking mine. The first underlined pronoun is it. It is a object pronoun that replaces coffee mug, and the second one is his. His is a、um, 
possessive pronoun that replaces Henry, and he he is a subject pronoun that replaces Henry, and the last one is mine. My is a possessive pronoun that replaces my coffee mug. Another ex example exercise is a lot of people in the office buy coffee at Starbucks, but it was cl closed today. It is a subject pronoun that replaces Starbucks. And another exercise: the following sentences. Contain pronoun errors. Identify the errors and correct them. First, my mother gave ten dollars to my sister and I. Um, the correct sentence should be my mother gave ten dollars to my sister and I, because we need to use objective form here. I is subjective form. Another one is. Him and Mitch went to the video store to pick a movie. The correct sentence should be, "He and Mitch went to the video store to pick a movie." Him is a objective form, and we need to use he subjective form here. The last um exercise is, an anyone running in the marathon. Should remember to bring their shoes. The correct sentence should be, "Anyone running in the marathon should remember to bring his or her shoes." Because anyone is singular, um, that、uh, indefinite pronoun. So we need to use his or her here. And these two slides are an answer for the previous exercise. Thank you. Here are some pronoun exercises. In the sentences below, decide decide whether the pronoun underlined is a subject, object, or possessive pronoun. Also, identify the pronoun's antecedent. The word it replaces. First one, I couldn't find my coffee mug this morning. I bet Henry took it. Henry needs to get his own coffee mug. He is always taking mine. The first underlined pronoun is it. It is a object pronoun that replaces coffee mug, and the second one is his. His is a Um, possessive pronoun that replaces Henry, and he he is a subject pronoun that replaces Henry, and the last one is my my is a possessive pronoun that replaces my coffee mug. Another ex example exercise is a lot of people in the office buy coffee at Starbucks, but it was. Closed today. It is a subject pronoun that replaces Starbucks. And another exercise: the following sentences contain pronoun errors. Identify the errors and correct them. First, my mother gave ten dollars to my sister and I. Um, the correct sentence should be: my mother gave ten dollars to my sister and I. Because we need to use objective form here. I is subjective form. Another one is him and Mitch went to the video store to pick a movie. The correct sentence should be he and Mitch went to the video store to pick a movie. Him is a objective form, and we need to use he. Subjective form here. The last、um, exercise is: an anyone running in the marathon should remember to bring their shoes. The correct sentence should be: anyone running in the marathon 
should remember to bring his or her shoes, because anyone is singular, um, that an、uh, indefinite pronoun. So we need to use his or her here. And these two slides are an answer for the previous exercise. Thank you.